It's market update time. Let's get straight into it. Do not place a trade based on what you're seeing in this video today because trading is risky and it can cause substantial financial loss. There are so many areas you need to become good at to become a good trader. Emotional mastery, chart reading, trading systems, money and trade management. So this video is just educational only to help you become a much better trader. Hey traders, as you know that some of the biggest things that makes you a successful trader is really learning the art of trade management and really good money management techniques. I've just recorded the video walking through all the steps that's really going to help you. So click on that, click on the box above that says trade and money management and to get access to this video right now. Alrighty traders, hope you're doing well. I'm looking at USO here. I'm just analysis here. Let me get straight into the market update time. Let's get straight into it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, all right. So let me have a quick look at the Dow Jones and all of the um, all the index all the indices. Right now, the Dow Jones has indeed been coming off a little bit, but remember, guys, we're still in this big overall upward trend. We have a couple of major. We have a couple of major uh, ch channels and trend lines in place. That's one trend line I'd say that's in place, uh, and then we also have this one here as well too. Look at that. Look at that. X marks the spot, right guys? So, even if the Dow Jones does come up a little bit more and come back down just a little bit more, maybe 1-2%, to we are likely to find a lot of support through there. As you can see, right, we have basically a couple of different levels. This is not me making this shit up. <laughs> right? Resistance. Resistance. And now you've got this support level here. Look at that. X marks the spot. So, there is nothing wrong about that, but looking on the daily chart, let me go to the daily chart now. Bam, there we go. On the daily chart, what do we see? We actually see that we actually close the gap. So if we get a couple more down days, that's okay. It's just a nice pullback and a good bull market. I believe we're likely to hold here and we're likely to race back up and we're likely to continue back up. So this is just a nice slowly pullback, uh, you know, and it does look, we're starting to get an increase in volume on the selling, so we may get a little bit more selling in there. That's okay. As I said before, guys, the big picture to me is still staying up. So, what do we see here on the S&P, right? Similar, same thing. We had this sort of trend line through here. Let me see if I can create that as well too on this weekly chart. Oh, isn't that interesting? Got almost to the top of that trend line. So that's where it got to there. So... Interesting where the S&P is right now, isn't it? Very, very, very interesting. So uh, S&P has, uh, uh, you know, has has been running up. It's having a nice small pullback. We are getting very, very close to an area of support level again, as you can see. Uh, and on the daily chart, you can see that's, it's just, it's not that far away before we find any major level of, as you can see right there, any major level of support. So for me, guys, uh, even if we do get a small pullback, I think we're likely to hold and we're likely to continue rallying up and out. And the NASDAQ, the NASDAQ, right, we can see here that we actually have this section through here. And the NASDAQ is actually starting to have that sort of a channel in place, isn't it? So we've got a channel within a channel. Right, so this is the channel we're in right now. But we're, 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 this, is, this is that big channel. We don't need that big channel anymore because it's just... It's not really, actually, let me see if I can get a relevant out of that, relevancy out of that. Actually, you know what? I'm going to use that one instead. Because that's pretty relevant to me. And I'm going to create a parallel trend line. Parallel, parallel, parallel trend line. You know what? And who cares about that one? And who cares about that one? We just, I just want to create this trend line. So there we go, guys. As you can see with the NASDAQ, right? The NASDAQ has had some nice supporting levels coming up through here. Maybe a bit more down the trend line is. Uh, but I'm trying to get as much touch as possible. Bounce, 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 bounce. And we're at that level right now. Are we going to get a nice bounce from this thing here? I actually think we will. I actually think we're likely to continue up. That's my thoughts anyway, guys. That's no confirmation. That's just my opinion. It could, no, my opinion means nothing, really. Because um, <laughs> no one knows what's going to happen. You just go on what the chart's telling you. Now, looking at the... Uh, looking at the uh, the transportation average, guys, what do we have here? We pretty much, as you can see, pretty much sideways, isn't it? Sideways, sideways, sideways. We do have a little short-term upward move going on through here. Let me bring up the three-month three view. 
So we have a little short term upward move, don't we? From basically there to there. Um, squeeze it up a bit more. So we do have a, have, have a couple of months worth of upward trend. Um, there's something going on through there. So we'll see if this is going to continue forming into some sort of triangle pattern. As you can see, we've got this resistance up here. Is this going to be some sort of triangle pattern before we break out or is this going to continue breaking down? So that's the question there with that one. Uh, you can see a bit more follow through now with the Russell 3000. Looking at that, if you look at this here as well too on the Russell 3000, you can see that if I bring that trend line up there just a little bit more, you can see once again we're getting close to, and I showed this on the weekly chart as well too. Uh, let me bring that back here. Isn't that weird on my, my software? The weekly chart's a bit bit, bit off than that. That's okay. Um, so as you can see here, right, X marks the spot. So even if we get a small little pullback, guys, I think we're going to continue rallying out of this. And the Russell 3000, once again, bit of sideways movement. Not really much going on there with the, with the Russell, but a bit of, bit of a small pullback again today. But overall, just pretty much sideways, right? As you can see, that's... A, Really there, came back up, came back down. So we may actually be having, getting ready for another couple of day, down day move again. Let me see if I can see anything on that on that weekly chart there. So we have this trend line through here. Do we have anything going on through there? We definitely had that going on through there, didn't we? So it's at the top of the top of this channel. Russell 2000 is the hardest one out of all of them, isn't it? So there we go, guys. Quick market update time for you guys. Uh, just to keep you guys on top of things, what I'm seeing right now. Let's see what happens. Hey, thanks for watching. If you'd like to get more free education about trading, then click on the box that says free trading course. This is a free trading course. It goes for around 12 hours long. It's about 12 videos long. It covers everything from chart reading, mindset, trading systems, money management, trade management, everything you need to get yourself ahead in the markets. And if you'd like to get my help personally, then click on the box that says get John's help and you'll be able to see how you can get my help personally. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on the video. And remember, success can be yours if you go claim it. So step up, take massive action, and face your fears today.